deal my people, you know who it is, it's Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you with another one, and this one is Sansa Stark's Queen's Guard. Now I said this in the past, but I just recently said this again on the small council, and that is that Sansa will have a Queen's Guard and the people of her Queen's Guard. And after I said this, people, I may have forgot that I said that or asked me why do I think this. So what this video is going to be is basically why I think that Sansa will have these members of her Queen's Guard. Now, first off, in order to have a queen's guard, you must be a queen. And yes, I do believe Sansa will be queen. So I have said this before, but what do I mean when I say that? I mean that at some part in this book series, that Sansa will be referred to as Queen Sansa by many people. So whether that's Queen of the North, Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, it's all debatable. But I do believe that she will be known as Queen Sansa. So right now, Sansa's claim or everything that people want from Sansa is the fact that she is the wardeness of the North or the de facto wardeness of the North because she is the surviving member of the Stark family. But when Rickon is found, all that will change. Sansa's worth will change. She will not be as worth as much as she is right now because Rickon will be the Lord of Winterfell and the warden of the North. So I believe using the things that Sansa has learned from Cersei, she will become what Cersei wanted to be and she will be the regent over Rickon and that is the way that she will maintain her power and her grip. It's the only way I see it being possible. Now once Sansa establishes this fact and she does take control of the north through Rickon, then she will do what has been done to her. And what has been done to her is she has been a pawn, a chip for marriage over and over again. But she will seize this power herself and use that power and make herself the chip and place herself in the position of power using marriage as a lure for anybody who wants to get down with her. Now Sansa has learned a lot of things but one thing she will never learn is how to get it on. She will never be a fighter so she's going to need some type of protection. So I believe that will come in the form of her Queen's Guard. Now this Queen's Guard I think if you look at these three people they all have a connection and I think if you go by the Hound and you go by Brianna Tarth and Jamie Lannister, the people I think will be in her Queen's Guard. I think they all have a connection. The connection there is Catelyn Stark. Now after Renly is killed, then Brienne bends the knee to Catelyn. And after she bends the knee to Catelyn and they capture Jamie Lannister, she agrees to take Jamie Lannister back to King's Landing and swap Jamie Lannister for Sansa and Arya. And then after that, Jamie Lannister agrees to go with the deal. So right then they both have swore allegiance to Catelyn Stark. Now during this whole situation, things happen between them. Basically, the connection between Brienne and Jamie is definitely Catelyn Stark. Jamie Lannister then gives Brienne Oathkeeper, which is a piece of ice, which is a connection with them to the north, and then tells him that to go out and find Sansa. The Hound's connection is he gets captured by the Brotherhood without banners, and after he gets captured by them, he kills Beric Dondarrion. After he kills Beric Dondarrion, Beric Dondarrion gets brought back to life. The Hound kidnaps Arya. He tries to get to Catelyn and Rob, but they are killed at the Red Wedding and when the Brotherhood without Bannel stumble upon Catelyn Stark's body, they resurrect the body, throw us a meal, does using the remaining life force of Beric Dondarrion allowing Catelyn Stark to seize control of the Brotherhood without Banners as Lady Stoneheart, allowing Catelyn to control the only true loyal people that were left when Ned Stark was Hand of the King. And I do believe that these people will all Go and follow Sansa Stark or the Brotherhood Without Banners. And I think because Brienne kicked the shit out of Jaime. And she kicked the shit out of the Hound. And she's probably been the most loyal person to the Starks outside the Starks family dealing with this situation. That she would definitely get the Lord Commander spot. So, if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this. Please spread this across the realm. And please subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace! And stay sexy.